Welcome to the lesson on basic airway technique. In this video, we'll discuss how to use the three basic airways, oral pharyngeal airway, nasopharyngeal airway, and suctioning. When selecting an airway device, keep in mind that too large of an airway device can damage the throat and too small of an airway device can press the tongue into the airway. To insert an oral pharyngeal airway, or OPA, first, clear the mouth of blood and secretions with suction if possible. Place the device at the side of the individual's face. Make sure to choose a device that extends from corner of the mouth to the earlobe. Insert the device into the mouth so the point is toward the roof of the mouth or parallel to the teeth. Don't press the tongue back into the throat. Once the device is almost fully inserted, turn it until the tongue is cupped by the interior curve of the device. To insert a nasopharyngeal airway, or NPA, place the device at the side of the individual's face. Make sure to choose a device that extends from the tip of the nose to the earlobe. Use the largest diameter device that will fit. Lubricate the airway with a water-soluble lubricant or anesthetic jelly. Insert the device slowly into a nostril, moving straight into the face, not toward the brain. It should feel snug. Don't force the device into the nostril. If it feels stuck, then remove it and try the other nostril. Here are some tips on suctioning. When suctioning the oropharynx, do not insert the catheter too deeply. Extend the catheter to the maximum safe depth and suction as you withdraw. When suctioning an ET tube, remember the tube is within the trachea and you may be suctioning near bronchi or lung. Therefore, sterile technique should be used. Each suction attempt should be for no longer than 10 seconds. Remember, the individual will not get oxygen during suctioning. Monitor vital signs during suctioning and stop suctioning immediately if the individual experiences hypoxemia, that is, oxygen sats less than 94% has a new arrhythmia, or becomes cyanotic. This concludes our lesson on basic airway techniques. Next, we'll review advanced airway adjuncts.